That's wizard stuff I'm about to give away. Um, so the place is a mess. Okay. My place is an absolute mess, girl. An absolute mess. This is just gonna be a little let's get life back on track mini vlog because girl as you can tell i'm going through it let's shower and get this together i don't think i'm gonna wash my hair because i just don't have it in me to do so I don't even know what today. Today is that eclipse day, girl. I don't even know what the day is. It's the 8th of April. The eclipse is gonna happen. <laughs> I'm not outside for it. I really, I'm not gonna say I don't care, but I don't have the little glasses to look up at the sun, nor do I, nor do I wanna sizzle my eyes. It's been reported that literally 1.1 million people, I think, or like half a million people have flown into Dallas to watch the total eclipse. Today is an indoor day if you haven't tell if you haven't been able to tell like I'm just staying inside my apartment it's really clean really tidy so that's fine um maybe later on tonight I might go out and do some running around but probably not I think I'm just going to take it easy today because I have a lot of computer work I need to do the eclipse is supposed to happen any minute now and I think it's going to last like 4 minutes I don't like really really care but I think I'm just gonna go out and just look a little bit <laughs> like off my balcony just to kind of see girl what's going on i'm not gonna lie to you this eclipse doesn't sit well with me it doesn't sit well with me for some reason i don't know why there was an earthquake in new york and now this eclipse what's next girl it's just not sitting it's just it's not looking good for planet earth <laughs> for some reason i'm not gonna lie part of me just wants to ch chill and like watch tv just have like a chill day. It's rare that I have like a chill day. I'm gonna do some recording tonight. Yeah, it's gonna be a chill day. I don't think I'm gonna leave today. I'll do all my running around tomorrow. But I'm really trying to see what's up with this eclipse, Miss Girl. I mean, I don't have like, like I told you, I don't have like a direct, I don't get direct sunlight, but I can see the sun like on the apartment across the way. So, so the eclipse is supposed to be happening any second. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, <laughs> I'm doing a check-in. I think the last time I talked to y'all was like 12. It's now four, okay? I'm still doing computer work. Taking care of my taxes and stuff right now. What I've been avoiding since January. <laughs> but we gotta get this done. I have an appointment with my tax person in the morning. Anyway, boring stuff y'all don't care about. For some reason, y'all, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. For some reason, I just feel like, I feel like something good is on the way. You know, 
Does that make sense? I can't shake it, but I feel like something good is on the way. I'm working, working, working. You know, I'm just like, I'm staying focused and I'm like, what is it? Like, what is this something good? Something good that's coming to you. There's a, a gospel song I like to listen to that says that. But I feel, child, I really don't know what it is because I want a million things right now. Actually, I'm not gonna lie. I really just want two main things, three main things right now. Um, two of them kind of go hand in hand. So I'll say two main things right now, but I don't know. I really don't know. I've been looking over, let me show y'all. I bought this little red spiral. I wanted to write down anytime I prayed about something or even before I, sometimes before I even get the chance to pray about it, before I thought, when I thought about something or I needed something, when God has spoken to me about it or when God has came through and answered the prayer for me or provided for me. I've written it down. I start, I, I bought this so I can start writing it down. And I bought a red one because in the Bible when God speaks, it's red. So I'm like, okay, red. When God speaks or when God does, I write it down in here because I like to go back and just at times that I'm like, God, I need something. <laughs> like, and I don't know how I'm gonna get it. I just go back and read this and say, ooh, I remember when God told me this about something that I, I needed or a question that I had. Or I remember one time one time I needed this and God provided for me. And it's funny because God has been providing for me about like little small things, literally the smallest little things God has been providing for me about. And I'm just like, if God can do it on small things, like, ooh, just imagine the big thing. So yeah, I'm still working. Oh my gosh, I forgot to tell y'all, the, the eclipse thing happened. It happened later than I originally thought, but the eclipse thing happened and I thought to go downstairs and record some of it for y'all, but y'all can just look it up on TikTok. I thought to go downstairs and record some of it for y'all, but I was on the phone talking to my, talking to Verizon about why they raised my phone bill, y'all. Here's a little praise report, okay? I'm on the balcony on the phone, cause y'all, I was waiting. I'm waiting, waiting, waiting for it to happen. I'm like, yo, cause I kinda wanna be able to go downstairs when it starts to happen. And I'm waiting for it, I'm like, it's not coming, whatever. Let me just call Verizon and take care of my business, right? As soon as I call Verizon and take care of business, because I'm like, I'm gonna switch my phone plan because they didn't raise my bill. As soon as I get on the phone with these people, here go the moon, here, here go the sun, not the sun when the eclipse. And I'm like, y'all, I'm experiencing FOMO. I'm like, dang, I wanna be outside. And part of me was like, let me just run in the elevator, go downstairs, I'm gonna stay in the phone with the guy. But I'm like, I know as soon as I get in the elevator, it's gonna cut off. And child, I don't have time to call some people back because me and this man were already talking and he was way more helpful than anybody else that was helping me before when I called Verizon. Because before they were just like, we raised the bill, ain't nothing we can do about it. But he actually seemed like he was wanting to help. So I was like, I don't wanna lose this. I literally see everybody else outside turning up, having a good time. And I'm in, I'm inside, you know, getting my house in order. You know, I'm inside missing out because I'm trying to get in, get my stuff in order. And as I'm talking to the dude, literally, as I'm on the uh, on my balcony like, dang, I'm missing out. The dude goes, hey, Instead of changing your entire plan, because I don't want to give up my plan because by changing my plan, I'll be sacrificing some stuff that I love, right? Like Hulu and that are like, I would have to give that up even though I don't want to, but I need to save money. He goes, you don't have to change your plan. Keep your current plan because it's uh, it's a like, it's a, an, a grandfather plan that we don't offer anymore. So you can keep that plan, right? But I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little discount that way it'll counter the Christ, Christ, the price increase. So I was like, cool, okay, that's cool, you know. And then he goes, wait, wait, hold on, bear with me, Miss Jacqueline, it's actually getting better. He's like, I see something else that I can stack on it to save you even more money. And I'm like, oh, okay. So he was like, so now you can keep what you have, the bundle that people have to pay for with the new plan, you still get that on your line for free. And I'm tacking on a, uh, like these two discounts to where now your bill is lower. Lower. The bill is lower, okay, significantly. I was like, it's lit. And it wasn't until I got off the phone that I felt like I'm gonna be missing out on things. In this season that I'm in, I'm going to be missing out on things. I'm gonna see people out and about turning up, having a good time, experiencing things, doing whatever. But right now I feel like God is telling me to get my house in order. Though I may be inside missing out on 
things and activities or whatever i i have a pretty good like i'm feeling like whenever my house is is in order and god gives me what he has for me i'm sure i'll be able to make up for lost times and then some okay if God is telling me to get and catch that, I stayed inside, got my house in order, and I got my build lower, girl. Because if I was outside taking pictures of the sun or whatnot, who knows? I probably would have called afterwards, got somebody else, and they probably would have told me the same thing. Um, no, we can't lower your bill because right now Verizon, anybody that has my plan, they're wanting them to get off that plan so they can be charged more. But now look, you know what I'm saying? I really feel like, honestly, I feel like in this season, because I feel like so many things have been happening, and I'm like... What is going on? It's like so many, it's small things. So many small things, right? So I'm like, maybe God's like testing me to see like how I do with small things. And that's what I kind of feel like in this season, God's like, I'm testing you with small things to make sure I can trust you with big things, right? So I'm just, I don't want to fail none of these tests, bookie boo. Because if the blessing is around the corner, baby, listen, I'm outside on the block. I'm ready to receive it, you know? I gotta make sure I pass all the tests, girl. <laughs> I don't wanna delay nothing, girl. I don't wanna delay nothing, my battery's about to die. But I just wanted to come in and pop in and just kinda say, and just kinda speak on it. And I also kinda wanna document this, so like, when things happen, I can just come back and be like, girl, I'm not crazy. I know I be feeling God when he talk to me. <laughs> I know I be hearing God when he talk to me. Let me finish getting ready for my tax appointment in the morning. I don't know why, but I really like filming in the garage. <laughs> girl, I cleaned the lens off and it just looks so much like more crisp, more clear. I actually might keep this little camera. I was thinking about buying a new camera, y'all. And y'all know I've been needing to get a car mount. But I'm thinking with this little thing that I have now, y'all look, y'all look, that's wizard stuff I'm about to give away. <laughs> that's clothes, his clothes that he gave me. Y'all, I shouldn't be saying this, but it's the clothes that he gave me when we were together. And you know what? And another thing, and another thing, I'm gonna have to revoke that name from him. He's no longer Wiz. Because remember, Wiz is the name Y'all, I got me a little car mount. Y'all, I got me a little car mount. It's lit. It's lit. We're going to have to revoke that name from him because Wiz is the name of my my Mr. Right, my my forever. And he ain't that clearly. Ooh, girl, they be driving so crazy in this um in this garage, girl. You know what? Actually, I was in the wrong just now. <laughs> but um, we're gonna have to revoke that man's name. We're just gonna call him that man. But anyway, I got that man's clothes in a in a trash bag, okay, in the back seat of my car, because I'm gonna donate them. And it's not anything like spiteful, and it's not like at him, you know. It really is just like, um, can we talk about like this setup? Can my closet just look like this, please? Like, for real, in real life? I want this for the bathroom. Ooh. Put my skincare in here. This is nice, actually. Hold on. I could put my makeup and stuff in there. Hold on, girl. Don't let me get a basket, y'all. Do not let me get a basket. What did I come in here for? I don't, I don't know, I already forgot. Uh, hangers, hangers. You know what, I'm gonna need a basket because the hangers are heavy, right? Let me just get a basket. All I'm gonna get is hangers. I promise. Y'all, I have way too many lip glosses to be even trying to play, but should I, y'all, should I get the whole set up? I feel like I should get the whole set up. <laughs> 34, but what would I put in here? I think I'll just put all my skincare and stack it. Oh, sorry. No worries, that's fine. And stack them on top of one another. They literally already have like a skincare one. Skincare organizer and storage kit. Ooh. This clothing rack is so cute. It's like black, modern, and it would go perfectly with my apartment like vibe. Not that it has like a strong aesthetic, but it's cute, but it's 80 freaking bucks. I'm not about to do it. I 
I spent way more money than I thought, <laughs> than I had anticipated on spending. I was only supposed to spend really like 60 bucks. <sighs> I spent like 153, it's not horrible. But it is horrible considering that I was supposed to get like six more things. <laughs> Easily could have spent like $300. Easily could have spent 300 more dollars. Oh, there's a boot barn. Okay, so let's go home. <laughs> I step out the house and spend $153. This is why I stay inside. This is exactly why I stay inside the house. Because every time I step outside, ugh, money spent. and not Crate and Barrel girl I'm so used to being at Crate and Barrel I'm currently here at West Elm and I came here to look at vases but there is this lamp that I've been eyeing for so long and it's here it's this little swivel lamp it's $1.99 I came here to find a vase it's freaking cold in here and um possibly I'm, I'm I keep saying possibly a nightstand I don't need a nightstand <laughs> Or I do need a nice hand. I just I just know I'm not gonna get it from here because I know it's gonna be expensive and I'm not trying to blow a bunch of money right now. I'm just trying to find a cute base and then go about my way because they have it freezing in here, girl. But let's see what we can get into. I don't know if y'all remember, but this is a mirror that I actually saw here forever ago and I wanted it so bad, but it was just way too big for my apartment and there's nowhere that I would be able to fit it. Now this lamp, this lamp, this um, thing is like $400 and the one that I have at home y'all know my little squiggly mirror was like 50 bucks and it has and Loki I think mine's actually a little bit cuter than this one because this one is painted over wood and mine is like acrylic in a way so and it just fits perfectly in my into my apartment but yeah so I've been wanting a new clothing like dirty clothes bin and I think that this is really cute but just not for 80 bucks I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so I took a picture of like everything that I need bins for just so I know what to shop for. I know I need two of these because I'm gonna put the foundation. I'm gonna put the foundation, honestly, I don't think. Foundation and what else? The stuff that I have like right here that's PR I'm just gonna put it in here and set it at the very top for all of my lip products I think I want to put them in the clear trays and I might like double stack them do I have a lip product in here I do so yeah I could probably double stack some of them one of these and one of these kind of like what I'm thinking because so I can put all my mascaras and stuff in here and just pile them on on top of one another this is what the basket is looking like right now i'm feeling pretty confident with all my goodies that i have because if anything this is like right around the corner from me so i'm gonna go home and try to work out what i have if i need some more things i'll just come back and get it um bup, 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 bup. what else do i need i still need a vase and a plant so i can probably find that at um What's that place called? World Market. I'm hoping it's ain't more than $250, girl. Like, I'm really hoping. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna close my eyes and walk out of here because I cannot leave with anything else. Like, nothing else. I cannot leave anything. Oh, I do need an ironing board. I am back from the store and it may have gone a little crazy, <laughs> but that's okay. So let me show you guys what I got before I start. Um, like putting things together. This vase that I got from World Market and I needed another vase. This one is really wide at the top. They're still doing pretty good. They haven't been in water since I got them on Sunday. It's now Tuesday. So they're just gonna be in here. I might have to chop them down 
Ooh, they're really tall. This makeup organizer and storage kit. Now I didn't get this for my makeup. I got all that other stuff for my makeup. This is just for my skincare. Picked up some hangers because I ran out of hangers and I have to hang some clothes that I got in the mail. Then I got this right here. It's like a dual acrylic um, canister set. Two of the all-purpose drawers, these shallow all-purpose uh, drawers. And then this is gonna be like my PR bin. So this is gonna be for all like my pretty <laughs> and re repetitive brand like lipsticks this is just like a little mini bin that can go in like that big drawer to help with dividing things so i got two of these this medium organizer to go in the deep drawer which i'll show you how that fits later this one that slides out i'm also going to hang this picture so i'm gonna hang this right here have a little decor Decorum because I could repurpose this um this mirror that I have this mirror this um photo that I have in here and I could put it somewhere else I just don't know where it's cute in here because I at one point I like the boutique vibes of it having the picture in there but I feel like Ugh, it does look so empty without it. <laughs> I feel like I could possibly repurpose this and put it somewhere else and make it and make it work. I was thinking I could possibly put it maybe like right here somewhere. Might be cute. And then if I get a little nightstand, put a little nightstand or something right here. I'm kind of regretting. <laughs> Am I regretting? I don't know if I'm regretting throwing away the nightstand that I had. I don't know because I kind of want like a wood nightstand. Like, what do you guys think? Cause then it'll be cute above the nightstand. I don't think I like it over here. Well, <laughs> I'm trying to see how it would look. Mm, I don't know. I'm not mad at this actually. I'm like, is there enough sticky? Let me just see if there's enough sticky. be kind of cute that might be kind of cute okay so let's stick it over here and see how we feel let's stick it right here so i can see because that was kind of cute because i'm thinking right here i'm thinking about right here mm -mm, it's not it's not doing the same thing it's not doing the same thing like it was doing over there it's not doing the same thing so, I mean, I could potentially hang it above the bed. Now, I, girl, I'm looking at crazy. I could hang it above the bed. Um, Let's see what it looks like above the bed. I could do it. Do it like this. Let's see. Let's see what it looks like, girl, above the bed. It's not really speaking to me. It's not speaking to me above the bed. It's not speaking to me above the bed. So, the only place it's speaking to me. Oh! Y'all almost lost me. Y'all literally almost lost me. And why did I sound like an ape? <laughs> why did I sound like a dang gorilla? I don't like that. I think it's cute right here. I think it's doing something right here. Your search for two immunotherapies starts here. This ain't just sick. It's really nice. So you know I can't smell. Get over yourself. I'll be right here even if we never met. finally about to start on the bathroom so right now this is what we are currently working with um with the skincare Ooh, ashy anyway 
Right now, this is currently what we're working with with all the skincare. I was trying to make every single thing work and I was like, it was just a lot. So I had to cut the camera off to get my life together, but look how cute it looks. This girl, yes. Look how cute it's giving boots heek. Of course the battery's about to die, but anyway, let me kind of give y'all a run through of everything that's going on. Starting off with, you know, the sink area. I put the Q-tips and the little cotton rounds and the little canister, absolutely so cute. So, um, you know, I have all my skincare. I have all the things that I use every single day on top, right? Um, my lit, all my little skincare lip glosses. Um, I just have like these towels out so I can just get to them really easily, like when I wash my face in the morning and at night. Everything in here is just like skincare that I really don't use unless I've ran out of everything else. And this is what I use to carry me over until I get something new. Now, I was actually using this one every day, the Peter Thomas Roth one, but I got sent this one and it's a good daytime moisturizer and it's good for like um, anti-aging. So this one's just good for hydration. But we're 30 now, so we gotta do some anti-aging every single day, okay? Okay, so now to the best part. <laughs> this right here now, I do still need one more like container. I don't know which one I'll get yet, but for right now, I'm done. Up here, I have all of like my PR and stuff, skincare, makeup, um, a little bit of hair care, uh, some other hair care. I have some actual hair <laughs> right there that I'm gonna use for like a sewing or, or like something. Right here, y'all, just look at how cute this is. Seriously, seriously, seriously. I can't, it's like a little boutique. So I ended up moving my brushes back here because I didn't want it on the sink with everything else because it was looking kind of cluttered. But I have all of like a lot of like my liquid lips and lip glosses in here. And then I have majority of my lipsticks right here. Um, I do have like some more back here. I wanted to just be like cute. So I wanted to have like all of like the cute tops, um, like having it cute facing outwards. So then down here I have, um, honestly, this is like all of like my foundations and concealers. Down here, what is this? I don't know why this is like jammed. Anyway, um, down here I have like some face creams and eyes. No, this is uh, cheeks, cheeks and eyes, I think. Um, I have a lot of blushes in there, cream blushes, powder blushes. Um, and then I have some eyeshadow palettes. I have some cream contours and blushes. Then I have some primers. Then I have some setting powders right there. Um, I don't want to close that all the way because for some reason it keeps jamming. Uh, then I have all of my cream blushes and highlighters. Um, and then just like skin tints and stuff right here. I have um, some eyeshadow palettes and then some uh, blushes. 
um, in here. And then in here, these are all of my mascaras. So, oh, and then back here, this is like every, all the leftover stuff. So I just have like my eyelashes, some setting spray, all of my eyeliners. I don't use eyeliners, but I have them sent to me. So I keep them. And then like my eyelash curler, um, my eye, my brow scissors and like my eyeliner, I mean my lip liner pencils. So that's just like miscellaneous stuff back there. But I mean, guys, it's really, really cute. I have been wanting to organize this for well over a year. I'm super happy with how everything came out. Yeah, it's always nice to just give my place a little refresh. I love the picture on the wall right here. I've been sitting on this picture for so long. I almost threw it away at one point. I'm so glad I didn't because it looks so cute. And I think I'm going to get a faux plant and put it in the corner right here. Um, and y'all like my, I just feel really good and really um, grateful for my plays right now. <laughs> I'm like, right now, I don't know about tomorrow. But no, right now, I'm just feeling so grateful for my place. I love this little mirror flower pot situation. I mean, bowl situation right here. This is just so cute. It's giving Pinterest. It's giving Pinterest. Um, and then the picture on the wall. Like, I'm feeling really good about my place. Like, it's been a year that I've been here. And to think, and to think, like, if I had to sign that year lease, like I had intended, I would be getting my stuff together i would be gone by now. i would be oh my gosh i would be in another apartment you know and that's it's so crazy because i told myself i was only gonna give dallas a year because i was like oh i'm only gonna give dallas a year because i'm only gonna have a year lease and then i said i was gonna like figure out where i'm gonna go next but it's just really crazy to think like first of all that a year came and gone that fast and second of all to think like you know, this would be the time that I would be like uprooting and leaving again when I'm really just getting settled into this place, you know? If a year went by super quick, the next five months, five, six months will go by even quicker because that's when my lease is up. So um, I think I'm just done. I think I'm just gonna be done <laughs> with decorating this place um, because again, like who knows what's gonna happen in the next five or six months. I just, I can't just wrap my head around it, you know? I told myself I was gonna give Dallas a year and now I'm like, hmm, am I gonna give it am I gonna give Dallas a year? Am I gonna leave? Is Dallas my new home? You know, I don't know. I don't know. It's just so crazy to think that a year has passed already. So much has happened. I'll say the last six months were a blur because of just being in a relationship and like literally like the days just all meshed together as soon as I got in my relationship. But um, we're out of it and yeah. <laughs> but yes, I'm feeling really happy with the apartment updates that I did. Um, I think I'm just gonna wrap up this vlog because I'm starving and I'm also tired and I'm ready to go to sleep, ready to shower and go to sleep. Thank you guys for watching this vlog. Do not forget to like and comment and subscribe. Please subscribe, share my video. Um, it really helps my channel grow, you guys. And the more my channel grows, the more I'm able to upload consistently for you guys because I'll just have more time to dedicate to my channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Look, bye girl. Y'all saw the video of Issa waving like that. <laughs> That's how I feel like Issa. Bye y'all. See y'all in the next vlog. <laughs>